okay before i proceed with the mapping i'll create another directory so i say make the mapped so this is where the map data will be saved i'll now perform the mapping so i'll say bow tie 2 and i'll say dash x and i'll say index slash e coli and then i say dash one is what srr one dot fastq dot gz and then dash two is srr two dot fastq dot gz and i say dash s and then i will specify the output file so dash s here is used to specify the name of the output file both type 2 will generate a sum file okay and so we need to specify the name and that's what we are doing here so dash s we say mapped slash e coli dot sum and then we will run it now you can speed up both type 2 by specifying traits okay so um, if you have a pc with a uh, um a lot of course a lot of cpus you can um use that um you can use the flag threads to um, increase it so we can say dash dash threads and so here i will use eight threads if you have more you can increase this number so that's fine now we can run it so let's do it now okay so both i2 will start the mapping so let's wait whilst everything has been done okay mapping has been done whenever both i completes a mapping activity it also uh, gives us a summary of what has happened and so here we have some statistics here we are dealing with paired and reads so both i also tells us the percentage of the reads that were paired so here it says 100 percent we also have some information here that we can read to uh, get uh, more insight into the mapping activity but i will want us to focus on this one here which is the overall alignment reads both i says it's 95.12 percent which is high so that means things are looking good 